designs and all that vibe and, 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 and groove is a product of these two young men that we have in studio tonight. I'm talking about Dogo Ricci and Kabagazi. That's yeah. their latest song together. It's called Go Gaga. And they're here, you know, of course, uh, Ricci has a long history of releasing hit after hit yeah. and also stirring a bit of controversy <laughs> along the way. And he's here to talk to us about his life, his times, his inspiration, his music, and his vision for his craft. And together with uh, Kabagazi, we're going to talk to him about uh, whether they're going to do another setup like the one they did with Go Gaga. But without further ado, good people of Stargus. Karibu sana, Dogorichi yeah, and yeah. Kabagazi. Shukran. 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 First of all, let's start. What's your real name? Raymond Kabagazi. That's actually your name? Yes. All right. And, and for you, Richie? Yeah, Francis Kazungu. Where did the Richie come from? Yeah, I get it from school uh -huh. when I was in high school. Uh -huh. I was very sharp in mind, but okay. poor financial. All right. <laughs> so it is an iron of what I was. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, right. So my, my principal used to tell me, eh, hey, maze? Richie poor man. Uh, really? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Kumba, eh, oh uko vizuri akili, mm -hmm. lakini kimfuko. Kimfuko hauna. <laughs> <laughs> so Richie. So I was the first students watu wakimeshini waende nyumbani, mm. nisipotaji watu wana, wana I didn't kitaji watu wana check, mm. ni obvious I'll go home. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Do you, what, what would you say that background mm. has done to you as a grown up, as an artist? Yeah, I used, uh, Nilibidi ni struggle a lot because mm. high life poor, you know. Mm. Sometimes, because we, we were very many at school, and then everybody knows that we want to talk family poor, na jo. So some, sometimes we feel we buy jo. But mimi ilijina lipati wa richi, ama mtoka kwenye tari richi poor man, lipata courage san. Because why? Mwalimu na nita mimi richi, while he knows that I'm poor, you know? mm -hmm. So, nikitu lini pati akari sana. From there, niliko na, na work hard, kwa sabu, nilijua, nik, if I fell here, then life yangu kote itaenda hivu. Mm -hmm. So, nilibidi ni work very hard. That's why I was good in, in books. Na nika nipati ya motisha, ta mwalimu wangu likuwa, nikitaka kufuza, nasema huyu, si mwamona kama atenda nyumbani, nginta mweka wiki ndo ende nyumbani. Mm -hmm. So, niliko na, na hiyo nini. So, na, na shukuru sana, ni, ni, nilichukuli ya poo, kwa sabu, na mini kabisa, Hatuwezi zali wa sote matajiri. Shula gani yu? Waneza kwa wanatizama yeah, sasa hivi? Ya, Mokoi Primary School. Right. Iko in Lamu District. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now, Kabagazi, yes. can you tell us about what was happening um, around the time both of you came up with the song, Go Gaga? 
Because it's quite different from what, Richie, you've yeah, done before. And uh, many people are not very familiar with your style, yes, Kabagazi. Yes, yeah. So what, tell us a bit about what went into that uh, song. Okay, Gogaga. First of all, uh -huh. from the, the writing of it, mm -hmm. uh, the composition, uh -huh. the choice of producer, yes. the choice of style, okay. the choice of video and location and all that. Let's start okay, that. Gogaga Ilianza. First of all, eh, nilikuwa na beat flan. Mm -hmm. Nilikuwa na metengezona producer wang flan and it was big soul. Mm -hmm. So when Richie came to Nairobi, mm -hmm. ni mtu tumejuana, tunatoka mm -hmm. malindi sota hafi, mm -hmm. ya tunijuana kimziki. Nilimjua mbele, mm -hmm. before ya nijue, kwa sabu nikuwa na muna kwa TV. Right. Nini, nini. Then nilipukudia kumjua, mm -hmm. tuka anza kuwa marafiki, nini, nini. So, alipukudia mkapisikizisha hile beat, mm -hmm. makarambi beat ni nzuri sana, na ezata mm -hmm. kapia mimi ku, mm -hmm. kufanya kitu, mm -hmm. ni kambe na shida bro ni kamtumia mm -hmm. beat, mm -hmm. akaenda nae o home, mm -hmm. coast, mm -hmm. so he went back to Mombasa. Mm -hmm. After kama two days, mm -hmm. I can tell me at any time. Be able to WhatsApp ya ko bro, kuna kitu ni me record apo. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Elis kiza hivi kambi ya safari leo leo njo, mm -hmm. <laughs> njo na irobi. Like in sasa tukwa tume amefanya go gaga, kuna mm -hmm. fanya something, something different. Mm -hmm. So tulipo, alipo kuja na irobi, tulipo enda kui record ile nkoma, mm -hmm. kulingana na production na everything, mm -hmm. atu kufraia. Mm -hmm. So tukakana tukafikiria nana neza fanya insta ili ngo mekwe poa. Mm -hmm. Yongo mekwe ni ituwa follow follow. Follow follow, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chose into go gaga, ilikuwe mm -hmm. ni ituwa follow follow. Mm -hmm. So tukakaa, tukwa na Teddy B, yo style ya mm -hmm. nezi ya vizu. Mm -hmm. Tuka mtafuta, tukaenda kwa Teddy B. Kufuka kwa Teddy B when we started doing the song, mm -hmm. tupu msikizisha kwanza alianza ku, kwa siku ambio tuka kufanya ngoma, lakini mm -hmm. utengeze ya beat tofauti. Mm -hmm. So alipo anza kupige yo vibe ya the other beat. Mm -hmm. Apo, apo tu, nangusikia Richa na Ham, to go gaga, something. Mm -hmm. Kambia ya hiyo, mm -hmm. hiyo tune nzuri sana, ebu, mm -hmm. ebu itoi vizuri. Mm -hmm. Alipo imba ika ingiana, apo, apo tuka ka, tuka maliza ngoma. So this is the first time you're working together? Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. On a song? Yeah, hey, like into me fanya Ngoma Mob. Sana, project Sana. Nyingi, more than Nyingi. five projects. Okay. Uh, but, but this is the first one together yeah. as, yes. as, as yeah, in yeah, for yeah, one yeah. song yeah. Yeah. we've released. Yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, Richie, this is, you, mostly, you, you do rap, right? Yes. Richie, how, how, um, how did you feel working with somebody who does a different style to yours? Because you're essentially a, a singer. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First, nili msikiza kabagazi, mm. ni, 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 ni mtu yuko unique kia ina yake. Mm. Eh, alafu kabagazi anajua mziki. When something is bad, mm. pale pale anakombia, eh, maze, hivi ni viba, kozi ya mefanya, anafanya production pia, mm -hmm. ya mefanya, mefanya mass, mass. Mm -hmm. Ana, anajua sana mziki. Mm -hmm. So, imagine nikiketu na umda before tufanya track, tuko tunakaa pamoja sana, tuko tumezo mm -hmm. So wakati tumezuwe na muangali, eh, hey, umzea anajua music, sana tukifanya kitu, mm -hmm. kama nikibova, na nabia, bro, hapa, lakini pointi yake inakuwa, inakuwa po, unajua, eh, hey, pointi ya mirez, ni pointi vizu. Sometime, ana, ana, nampache track, tumefanya, hafa na kitina, hafa nabia, richi, eh, mazewi track, na una kina, kuna mahali, imekole. Sa minu, zi abu, nikuwa sijamzo ya sana, na, 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 kuna mahali, ni pabovu, lakini seizi muambia. Mm -hmm. Then, mwenye, anajigundua, kwa mba, eh, hey, hii, mini, ni merapu vibaya, mm -hmm. have to redo the, the, the track again. Mm -hmm. Na mwambia, eh, hey, bro, nikuwa nitaka kukuambia hivo, but nilikuwa na, so, ni mtu anajua music, and then ni mtu yuko flexible. Kabagazi sometimes hata anaiza imba, fanya rap singing. So, would you say your relationship, how well you guys get along, and, and how well you know each other, would you say that that's a big, um, a, a big reason why the song has done so well, and yeah. why you guys have such good chemistry? Exactly. And, and going forward, working with other artists from across the region, uh, Kenya, East Africa, and the world, is it as important to have that kind of relationship, or that kind of... Uh, musical chemistry with somebody yeah, yeah, would yeah. you say very important because um, maybe right now ni fanya ngoma pengine na damu let's say damu or ni fanya ngoma ni nyashiki kama sijamjua vizuri because he is a stand kuna vitu fulani pengine hajavifanya vizuri nitaogopa kumwambia but the, the relationship ni vizuri sana mtu mjuane mwanzo we become friends you'll do a great track kwa sababu kuna mahali mtu amemsema amekosea kana uzi mwambie eh Mm -hmm. I've been producing hits, mm -hmm. but some, sometimes the big artists want to fail. So I feel the big artist to wanna fail mm -hmm. So I feel that the big artist is to wanna fail. So I feel that the big artist is to wanna fail. So I feel that the big artist is to wanna fail. So I feel that the big artist is to wanna fail.
Right. Kabaga, guys, I need you to jump in on this. Uh, um, th there's long been a discussion for many, many, many years yes. about all oh, artists from Mombasa versus artists from, let's say, Nairobi or other parts of the, uh, of the country. Mm -hmm. And there's been a bit of um, not, not very good relations between uh, both, but of late we've seen uh, people reaching out and doing collaborations and working on projects together. Mm -hmm. But now there's another issue of, which has also been there for quite a while, and that is uh, the concept of unity or lack of it among artists who come from the coastal region. What can you tell me about that? Uh, what I can say is that when you are Msani, eh? mm. Kwanza hiyo issue ya Mombasa kusema kuna wasani wa Mombasa na Nairobi. Mm. I think wasani wenyewe ndio wanaleta hizo mm -hmm. issues sisi ni wasani wa coast. Na kuna kinoti ile mm -hmm. ata red sana umetukia coast na mm -hmm. walianza kufanya kuna sana mm -hmm. pay wamefanya vizuri for a very long time unaelewa. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo kuna wale wasani kwanza kuna wasani wa vivu walio labda nikiwa niko Mombasa unajua tuseme industry kuna kama stations nyingi za TV na radio ziko Nairobi na kuna wasanii wengi Nairobi so ukikaa Mombasa labda utume mziki huko Nairobi wana uchezo utasema ah jamaa Nairobi watu support lakini the truth ni kuwa msanii unafoji tume na utrai kuangalia kwa nini Nairobi sichezi kwa sababu wabongo wame hit sana hapa Nairobi na unafanya mziki kama wakost, unilewa? So, utoke kujua nini unafanya wrong na nini unafaa kuchange. Bitu kama hizo kisha ajua, itakuwa. Alafu pia another thing na zasema pia industry nyewe kuna issues zake, labda media, kuna watu labda hawataki tu kusupport watu flani kwa sababu ya vitu flani. Na pia ukinge kwa mziki unafuku unajua kuna hizo challenges. So, you need to have a plan so that kama uchezi na Nairobi utafanyaje ndio anze kucheza unaelewa right yeah. Richie, what do you think about this yeah me i believe mziki mzuri ni mziki mzuri mm -hmm. sometimes tunasikiza congo music eh? mm -hmm. na hatujua taonaongea nini but tuna, tunajua mpaka neno moja baada mm -hmm. moja so me i think the sisi kujiita upande kwa sababu i believe we are kenyans mm -hmm. nikifanya leo nyimbo hit hit african zima sitaenda kule ni represent coast ama kuna bendera ya coast hakuna mm -hmm. we have only one flag ambayo ni Kenyan flag so i believe watu wajitume zaidi cuz i've been doing music paka kuna some days kinkaka na nipigia na bro track poa nataka tufanye collab no kwa sababu nimefanya mziki mzuri mm -hmm. the same time it happen na 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 na, na, na calvo mistari yoyo bado tukafanya yoyo bar remix ame nitafuta i really nimependa hii nyimbo tufanye i think The good thing iko pale ni kujituma tu bas. Mm -hmm. Hakuna hakuna ile ile, ile utengamano kwamba mimi natoka natokea pwani. Mm -hmm. No na mimi waga nakasikika sana mtu akinambia eh I'm, I'm introducing an artist from coast. Hiyo waga na niuma sana because mimi naamini ni Mkenya mm -hmm. na mahali napoenda na represent my country. Mm -hmm. So issue ni kwamba wasani wako kule wasijitenge na na, na wasanii. Mm -hmm. Tunaweza ongezea ni kuwa wajua wasanii wa coast ya kitambo mm -hmm. labda quality. Sasa hivi I'm, I'm very happy kwa sababu nikiangalia kazi zinatoka coast yani mpaka unashtuka. Mm, watu wanajaribu sana. Kazi mm -hmm. sana. Lakini kitambo kulikuwa mm -hmm. na maisha za quality mm -hmm. labda na record kwa studio hata videos ulikokiona. Mm -hmm. So ulikuwa zile videos zikikuja Nairobi. Nairobi kuna videos zimetulia nzuri. Mm -hmm. So hazingeweza kupenya. Lakini sasa hivi ukiangalia wasanii wa coast wanafanya vitu poa. Ah, wasanii wanafanya vizuri. So, okay. Mm -hmm. sana, yeah. Now Richie, uh, yeah. still on the subject of unity or mm -hmm. lack of it among coastal mm -hmm. musicians. You did a song last year and it caused a bit of trouble yeah, yeah, or with yeah, your yeah, colleagues yeah, exactly. from the coast yeah. can you tell us a, a little bit about uh, i think it was mziki majanga mziki majanga yeah uh, tell us a little bit about um, your 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 mindset or your inspiration for writing that song mm -hmm. and you happen to name a few artists mm -hmm. uh, was it deliberate were you trying to to diss them as people say or were you trying to just be an artist and take something from a real situation and make music out of it and how did you deal with the reaction of those artists yeah in fact when i was writing the song i knew kutakuwa na hizo issues but um, kitu ambacho hakuelewa mimi kenye liandika ni kitu kile kinaongelewa kwa, kwa, kwa mitandao social media mm -hmm. so mimi niliimba mm -hmm. lakini vitu vilikuwa vipo mm -hmm. na kuna watu wana fake sana life unajua mm -hmm. wakati vitu haviendi sawa mm -hmm. unajua mm -hmm. and then you know that things are not right and then mnanyamaza unajua mm -hmm. and i, I, I I'm, I'm, i'm happy because some of the artists niliwataja mm -hmm. wali improve sana mm -hmm. kuna mwingine alinunua alikuwa hana kweli gari amenunua sasa hivi ana gari mm -hmm. Anafata kunishukuru kwa sababu ni nilimu umenelewa mtisha challenge the best thing is 
nikikutaja kwa nyimbo na una feel kwamba hiyo hiyo part ilikuwa nimeponea then you have to prove me wrong si uende kusema ah reach me this ni nani and then at that time ilikuwa iko 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 yani iko doma ndani watu wamenyamaza kulikuwa kuna issue ya likiba na damu zinaenda tu msanii lazima uwe na issue ya kuongelea unajua na nilipo nilipo nilipangusha majanga then hiyo air waves ili change watu kwanza kuzungumzia wasanii wao sasa so you believe it was a good thing Exactly. Now we, we're just about to. My producer tells me we're quickly running out of, out of time. Mm -hmm. But before we go, we would need you guys to do Milele. But just before we drop Milele, I want to ask you guys a question. And this is a question I constantly ask Kenyans, artists from whatever region. There is this notion or understanding or feeling that Kenyan music does not have its own originality. In the sense that if you listen to a song from Congo, you will quickly identify that song as this is a Congolese song, right? If you listen to a song from Nigeria, for example, and I am very deliberate in picking these uh, areas, Nigeria, Congo, South Africa, and Tanzania. All of this uh, music apparently sounds very unique and easily identifiable. Yeah. So what do you guys, first of all, do you agree with this? that Kenyan music does not have its own identity and second if that's the case why do you think it's so I disagree we okay. have our own uh, we have our own type of music mimi naweza sema kapuka chunguza sana zile songs zili zili zilikuwa zimeenda sana lakini hata sasa hii ukifanya kapuka ina hit watu wamekuja hapo wamechukua hiyo kapuka kaenda hata ukiangalia the time ile ile songs za Nigeria zinaenda kama chakacha chakacha imetoka hapa Kenya bwana from coast so wao wamekuja hapa wameiba hiyo chakacha wameenda i modify wamefanya vitu zao ime sound more unique ama Nigeria kuna chakacha but why, why are we lacking why are we letting why is their music hitting better than ours what's, what's the problem with Kenyan music that hatutaki hatutaki kutumia hizo nini muziki yetu kikalcha sana kama hiyo chakacha hatutaki ku dig deep mm -hmm. to modify vitu zetu to vifanya unique zaidi mm -hmm. kitu tunafanya tukisikia muziki fulani una trend then tunaenda tunaenda huko. Mm -hmm. Unashona ah, kumetoka Jamaican track ambayo ina beat na trend then busy copying others. Lakini mimi naweza sema kama we have we, we have styles of music in Kenya. Mtu akisema hatuna origin na mimi namshangaa. Kaba guys, what do you think about yeah. this? Mimi naweza sema yeah. I disagree. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu kuna sound yetu hizo amesema kapuka mm -hmm. chakacha. Naweza hivi. Midi ama na mafans wanafanya wasanii wa Kenya kuiwaoga kwa sababu wana consume music ya Nigeria sana na tuseme bongo na huko nje. So wewe kama msanii pia utaangalia eh hizi hizi ngoma ndo zina zina trend sasa. Hizi zetu watu so squeeze But here's a question. Here's a question. Yes. You see um, the media companies uh, media industry yes. is out to make money for itself. It's out, it's out to be relevant mm -hmm. and part of being relevant is playing good quality stuff. Yes, yes. So if they're playing a lot of Tanzanian stuff or a lot of uh, Nigerian stuff then it must be that quality is good enough for the audiences to want more and more so, of it so what is the same uh, can we say the same I, I, about I, I, kenyan I, I, music i disagree with you because i've been to tanzania mm. so many times okay. did a collab with uh, samuel kweli rip is a good friend mm -hmm. of mine mm -hmm. i went for an interview east african tv and then they told me eh maze ili hawa watu wakukubali sema wewe unatoka tanga kwa sababu Mombasa na Tanga umeona kwa sababu ukisema unatoka outside Tanzania then hapa watu hata hatakufuatilia kwa nini kwa sababu watu wamewazoesha hivyo i'm very much sure leo ukianza kupiga track kwa sababu watu wanashika kile wanachokiona if you are playing bongo kila siku na muona damu kila siku hata mzungumzia na obviously utazungumzia damu kama Uganda uwezi compare music yetu na quality yetu na Uganda lakini ukienda Uganda wale watu 90% wanacheza music yao hataki kujua Nigeria Nigeria kuna nini South Africa wanaleta quality hizo right. quality kuna right. 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 yeah. right. 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 nyimbo zime hit kama right. Odi Dance uh, right. utanambia ni quality ambayo uh, inaweza yeah. compete na All right. Yes. All right. Well said, well said, <laughs> gentlemen. Well said. But again, I will leave you with a challenge as we introduce Milele. I want you, I want you guys to, to, to go back to the studio, go back to the creating zones yeah, yeah. and make sure that you're creating stuff that transcends borders, transcends nationalities Thank and you. stuff like that. Things that can, can really put this country on the map. That's something that's been lacking, and yeah. and by the way, we, we have someone like Kamaru, who's been right. in the industry for over 50 years. Yeah, exactly. The challenge uh, I want to throw to you, and I asked you this earlier, is do you guys think you can have the same amount of longevity as this guy? You think about that, but in the meantime, Milele, it's a, it's a newest uh, yeah, yeah, it's, collaboration. It's, 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 it's not a collaboration, it's, 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 it's a single, single. Yeah. it's your single. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us about Milele. 
Ya milela, I'm talking about uh, before you get into a marriage, uh -huh. kuna kitu inaitwa courtship. Uh -huh. it's, it's better mwena hiyo time ya kujuana vizuri. Before you yeah. make the big jump. Then you have that time can to you, tell can you this sing woman. A few, can you sing a few lines? Nina kupa roho yangu, tafadhali unitunzie. Wewe kila kitu changu, sito kubalio ni haribie. Chunga sana na mama changu, fikao vya usihudurie. Wewe ndore ndoro yangu ni Furaya mume mke wangu ni kudekezwa Nani chulia sijeteleza Niamini nitakuenzi hadi jeneza Sitakuibia lazizi wa roho yangu Nikikosea usinifiche niweke wazi usilalamike Kwajilia koni ridhike Mina Hello, baby. <laughs> 